and welcome back this is video three from the Corning Glass Museum in Corning New York this is our spring 2022 show and I'm Franz Helwig if you see anything you would like to purchase email me at franzwig at cox.net or you can text 504-975-5279 I can also send individual photos for you to enlarge and look up closer. Or if you have any questions, please contact me. There's a large vase in the fern pattern by William Anderson. This is either 17 or 18 inches, I forget. Beautiful blank, clear, beautiful cutting. That's a, a patented pattern by William Anderson and very distinctive. Probably the largest example I've ever seen. Great Hopstar base and the base is $27.95. It's a really great ice cream tray, 18 inches. It's attributed to the Jay Hoare. Um, well, take that back, it's 17 and 5 eighths inches by 10 inches wide. Deep, deep cutting, very thick, heavy blank, and it is $13.95. pair of candlesticks cut in flute as the stars that run off the edge on the base they are nine inches tall they're signed um, clear blanks and it is 275 it's a 13 inch tall pitcher the Gorham Sterling collar or spout I should say has vintage grapes around dripping down the edge um, very deep raised diamond with stars cut in them. Then a cane gallery with fans at the top. Right angle handle with twin deep punties cutting. Uh, it's $8.95. There's a huge 20 inch tall shoulder vase. It's in Marquee by Eggington. It's the largest piece I've ever seen in this design. Uh, hollow diamond neck, scallop top, pattern is shown in their small green catalog. And again, this is 20 inches and it's $26.95. Here's a cute, um, unique shaped uh, dish. It's uh, like a clog or almost a shoe. Pearpoint also did, did these. And I was surprised to see that this one's signed Hawks. Excellent quality heavy blank. It is $2.95. There's a large low bowl cut in the Alhambra pattern by Meriden. Beautiful quality piece, a good size. The pattern is shown on page 149 of Pearson's volume one, and it is $14.95. Pretty showy in display, it's a nice example. Here's a great shell dish cut in the Osceola pattern by Pearpoint. It's shown exactly on page 19 of their catalog. Excellent blank, great cutting, really well done piece, and it's one of the best shells you'll ever see. It's $2.95. It's a signed Hawks cut and engraved 10 inch, well, it's nine and three quarters, I should say, diameter plate. Pretty copper wheel floral panels, alternating with Hobstar and fan panels. Really well done piece. It is $8.95. It's signed Hawks, of course. 10 inch diameter plate in Primrose by Tuthill. It's signed, has like a little wafer base with their fancy flash star in the center. Pretty copper wheel engraving. Really well done piece. Kind of a Tuthill classic. And it is $7.95. It's another piece by Eggington. It's a thistle pattern shown in their catalog. It has cane and flashed fans um, forming in the center. Everything's in threes. It has the three arms reaching out, then it has three thistles in each of the panels. It is signed in the center, and it is $4.95. Real rarity in cut glass is another coffee pot set. This was the one from my personal collection. It's cut in Harvard or the India pattern by J.D. Bergen. St. Louis diamond cut spout, fully original spout, pattern cut stopper. 
double punty cut handle and this has the matching footed tall cream and sugar so this is a great centerpiece for a uh, first class collection it is 11.5 very unique 10 inch diameter plate it's not necessarily cut to clear but it's it must have been an experimental piece where we have green yeah, or yellow green flowers cut into the clear areas and the leaves are flashed and I'm not sure who did this I would maybe think that it could have been Fry or Empire but a really unique piece only one I've ever seen it is $6.95 great pattern by Jewel cut glass it's their Bangor which was their top pattern half of their catalog is actually examples of Bangor it must have been very popular in its day Hopstar cut base it's 13 and 3 quarter inches tall fine quality blank um, you can be hard pressed to find another one of these it's only $10.95 Cut Hills star pattern 10 inch tray excellent geometric work lovely copper wheel cutting or engraving I should say in the star in the center and that's always a very collectible item it is $10.75 Here's a shorter version of the first vase we saw in video one. It is Hawks Brunswick. It's signed Great Heavy Blank, Deep Deep Hollows Cutting. Um, Pearson, volume one on page 79, has an example of Brunswick. And the 12 inch vase is $7.95. Here's a really cute example. It's a rare two part electric lamp, and it's cut by the Laurel Cut Glass Company and it's cut in their Salome pattern they call it a pedestal electric lamp both unique for the company and the design nice cutting I may add and it works hollow diamond cut neck it's about um, 12 to th it's about 13 inches tall beautiful piece and it's $12.95 very unique in cut glass Always popular is Dorflinger's Montrose pattern. <clears throat> this is a shoulder base. Great, brilliant cane cutting. It adds a lot of bling to it. Hollows, punties in, the, in between those panels. Step cut top, scalloped rim. Hobstar base. It's 11 and a half inches tall and it is $14.95. This is a very attractive piece. It's a um, tall toasting chalice or toasting goblet whatever you'd like to call it it's a hop star cut base teardrop hollow fluted and notched stem very pretty copper wheel floral engraving and it is only $4.95 and this is the last of probably 26 wines that I have in a trellis cut they used to call this bird in a cage but it's a it's a trellis you can see the channel cuts in it and it's star cut in every square very fine quality and it's 115 and again that's the last one there's a beautiful yellow cut to clear wine stem has a faceted knob punty and raised diamond cutting it's possibly door flare because I had some other stems that are quite similar and I think it's a numbered pattern it is 495 it's a very fine quality 14 inch diameter tray very brilliant blank very brilliant cutting wonderfully polished I want to say that this is probably Bergen but I've not been able to pinpoint the identification but it's a beautiful 14 inch tray there's 25 very deeply cut hop stars cut in the pattern and it's a full 14 inches around it is 1995 Another beautiful stem is this champagne in three cut octagon by Mount Washington. Great pattern cut scalloped foot, heavy for its size. Um, great blank and it is 155 for the single. Here's a great rarity in cut glass, this four footed two handled vase. Um, I think it's CF Monroe and I forget what pattern it is. I haven't looked it up. 
um, notched prism flares at the top, great hob stars, double, triple punty cut handle. It's 12 inches tall and it is $29.50. There's a large cylinder base, 14 inches tall. It's similar to Queen's, similar um, to Twilight by Ideal. And then also uh, Bergen did Tyree, which is reminiscent of it. I'm not sure who cut it, but it's a pretty sizable example, a nice quality blank. And it is only $8.95. And it's quite an impressive piece. It's one of those reversible vases. You can use it in its chalice form or in the cup form. Um, cane and Hobstar on the cup portion, pinwheel, flashed fans at the top. It's 10 and a half inches tall and it is $265. And here is. Uh, a two-handle vase by Tudiel. I was very surprised to find the signature. Copper wheel engraved, solid rounded handles, engraved foot. It is nine inches tall and it is 445. There's a set of 10 water goblets. They're unique shape. They're shown in the Tudiel catalogs. And it's pattern number 40 and iris. Copper wheel engraved at the top. Unique type of step cutting, almost like Dorflinger's Tiffany. Um, has a solid knob above the base, star cut base. And they are 900 for the set of 10. And our last piece for video three is an 11 and 5 8 inch diameter plate cut in the ever popular Ellesmere pattern by Libby very heavy blank there it's their classic pie shaped blank signed in the center shown exactly on page eight of the red and gray catalog beautiful piece great polish and it is 24.95 and that will conclude video three thank you